A few clouds are filling in tonight, but it's better than the rain showers. What we've had, here's a look at satellite and radar. You can kind of see the cloud cover filtering in from north to south, but otherwise dry and we'll stay that way tonight. We'll flip over to Futurecast here. Jump ahead about an hour and a half or so. Get to 9 p.m. Clouds stick around and even fill back in a little bit more overnight and into Friday. But we start the day off dry and most of the day stays that way. If you're in and out, uh, if you're back by, let's say, 8, 9 p.m., you're in good shape. But anything after that, that's where we'll start to watch for a few showers. So this is Friday at 5 p.m., and you can see some rain starting to show up. This forecast model holding off on any showers until after midnight. Hoping that's the case, but there are a couple that have brought this system in a little bit quicker. So I say after 8 p.m., rain chances go up. I think they're still low until we get through the overnight hours and then into Saturday, starting the day off wet there. So on the seven day forecast, uh, we're looking at the track for Preakness. I think the Black Eyed Susan race is good, but uh, into Saturday, starting off wet and then gradually tapering off. I have to mention a rain chance on Sunday. That's in the morning, but we start to dry out. Temperatures getting warmer, mid to upper 70s, low 80s next week. Been much better. Monday through Thursday has got a lot of dry time.